Creating courses for face-to-face, -face, blended, synchronous, and or asynchronous classes can be time-consuming. Copying a course creates opportunities for course review, updating, and even training purposes after the foundation of a course has been designed. Today's learning goals for this micro lesson in Canvas applications are to review the steps necessary to copy an existing course in Canvas. To begin, in the course navigation menu on the left, open the settings by clicking on settings link found at the bottom of the navigation list. Then, notice the menu on the right side of the screen with student view listed at the top. Underneath that, you will find the import course content button and click on that link. A drop down box will appear prompting you to select what type of content you want to copy. Select copy a canvas course. Below another set of boxes will appear called search for a course. You can search for a course in two different ways. The first is to search for a course via the drop down menu and select the course you would like to access. This could be a course that you have previously taught and or have been given teacher access to. Also courses are ordered alphabetically by most recent term. The other method is if you know a course by name, then you can enter that course name in the course name field. Click on the name of the course when it appears. For your convenience, the Include Completed Courses checkbox is selected by default so that you can see all of the courses. Then you'll be prompted to select what content to migrate, all content or select specific content. If you choose all content, then the entire course will be copied over. If you choose select specific content, after you select the import content, you'll be prompted to choose which assignments, modules, pages, discussions from the current, current jobs page that we will discuss shortly. Remember that if you sp select the specific content option, yet want to copy the whole course over, you can do so from the current jobs page. Next, you can choose to change due dates by clicking on options or just wait until after the course is copied over and then make the due date changes. Then you will click the import uh, button. You may see a view content important warning message. This simply states that anytime you import content from into a new course, it will overwrite the old content. Finally, to monitor the migration process, you can view current jobs to see if your course was copied over with or without errors. The current job section displays the status of your import. Running reports displays a progress bar indicating the time remaining to complete the import. If you had chosen to select specific content as discussed earlier, the current job will show as waiting for select. This is when you select the content you want to import. The import may also display other status indicators as part of the import process. And then to view any completed imports, you can do so by going back to your course navigation menu on the left side of your screen and click on any of those given links. To sum up, these are the basic steps to copy a course for your class. A couple of points to remember in the course copy process. Course imports may not include all content. Importing a course more than once may have unintended consequences. If you have any further questions, you can email us directly at the ctl at southmountaincc.edu or come and visit us in the Center for Teaching and Learning in the SMCC Library. And thanks for watching. <laughs>